Werewolf Moon by Juliana Hanford and illustrated by Carrie Pillow. If you'd like to buy a copy of this spooky book, the link is available in the description at the bottom of this video. I'm frozen in my movie theater set. It's not because my feet are glued to the sticky floor, even though they are. It's because I just saw the scariest movie ever made, Attack of the Werewolf. I look over at my best friend, Stan. Jake, he says, let's get out of here. We meet my big sister, Angie, in the lobby. She grins. You guys seem a little freaked out. I guess the wolfman was scary. I try to look cool. Whatever. I know werewolves aren't real. Not real? Angie stares at me. Come on, kiddo. I thought you were smarter than that. I am smarter than that, I say. I mean, wait, what are you talking about? As we step outside, Angie looks up. There's a half moon in the big black sky. Don't worry, she says. You're safe tonight. Werewolves only attack when the moon is full. Stan groans. Angie, stop playing around. Hey, I'm just trying to keep you guys from getting eaten, she says. Don't you know, werewolves have been around forever, since ancient times, and they can look just like regular people, so anybody could be one, even your own next door. N she breaks off. Huh? I ask. N next door? Neighbor? Now, Jake, don't flip out, she says. But last week, Mr. Ray moved in next door, right? I nod. Angie whispers, well, have you seen him lately? His beard is getting big and bushy like fur. And every night he's out in his yard staring at the moon. What? I say. But we've reached our house and Angie strolls in without another word. Stan and I are about to follow when we hear, hi, kids. It's my grandma. She lives across the street. How was the scary movie? Scary, I shout. She blows me a kiss and goes inside. Then we hear a new voice. Hello, boys. Mr. Ray is out in his yard, just like Angie said. Nice moon, he says. Of course, nothing beats a full moon. You know, some folks say a full moon makes your blood run strong. Amazing, huh? It almost makes me feel young again. I look at Stan. We turn and dash inside. Dude, says Stan, your neighbor's totally a werewolf. That whole moon blood thing was creepy, I shiver, and his beard does look kind of furry. Stan nods, and the werewolf in the movie felt young and strong, just like Mr. Ray said. Oh, man, Angie's right, I say. I live next door to a werewolf. We need a plan. The next weekend, we hit the library. First, we try to figure out when the full moon is coming. I find a moon chart. Tonight's the new moon, I say. That means you can't see the moon at all, Stan gulps. So after tonight, it'll start looking bigger, and in two weeks, it'll be full. We quickly look for anything that can stop a werewolf. Here's something, I point. Wolfsbane, a flowering plant from the buttercup family, keeps away werewolves. We go straight to the flower shop. Excuse me, I say to the guy behind the counter. Do you have any wolfsbane? He looks at me like I have daffodils coming out of my nose. On our way home, Stan says, silver bullets. One book said they stop werewolves. I roll my eyes. We can't shoot Mr. Ray. I know that, but we could put something silver near him and see if he acts weird. Hmm, my grandma has silver candlesticks, I say. A few days later, I'm at Grandma's. May I use your candlesticks? I ask. Um, I'm having a party, a really fancy one. Oh, how nice, she says. You can have them all week, dear. I'll be away at my Green Gardens meeting. And guess what? Mr. Ray offered to take care of my plants for me. Isn't he a peach? Yeah, I say, a real peach. Outside, Mr. Ray is working in his yard. 
He looks more like a werewolf every day. His hair is bushy. His beard is bushy. Even his eyebrows are bushy. And the moon is already a bright sliver in the sky. Later that week, Stan and I spot Mr. Ray napping in his hammock. We creep over. Now what? I say. Stan whispers, put the candlesticks on him. You mean just throw them in the hammock? What if he wakes up? What if he wolves out? <sighs> Mr. Ray's eyelids flutter open. We're dead meat. Hi, boys, he says, blinking. Say, aren't those your Grandma Gertie's candlesticks? I open my mouth, but no words come out. How does he know that? Then Mr. Ray says, Jake, let me ask you something. Has your grandma said anything to you? Um, about me, I mean. Um, about you? I squeak. Yes, she hasn't mentioned anything. Mm, just that you're watering her plants. Oh, he breathes out a little sigh. Okay, we turn to leave. But then Mr. Ray says, it's a half moon tonight. If your grandma calls, tell her I'm watching it. He smiles slowly. She'll be back when it's full, you know. Stan and I rush inside my house. Wow, Stan says, your grandma is in major trouble. Mr. Ray's going to make a midnight snack out of her. He can try, I say, but he'll have to get through me first. We decide to keep a stake out of Mr. Ray. Every afternoon we watch him dig up weeds in my grandma's garden. Every night we watch him stand in his yard and stare at the moon. It gets fuller and fuller. Finally, the big night is here. Stan and I are looking at the bright round moon when Grandma gets home. Mr. Ray's waiting for her. But instead of crossing the street, he ducks into his garden shed. Quick, says Stan. Now's our chance. We run next door. My heart is racing. My palms are sweating. I think I might faint. Slam! We close the door behind Mr. Ray and flip the latch. Phew! Bang, bang, bang! Boys, boys, hey! Open up! Then Grandma marches over. What on earth do you think you're doing? We're trying to save you, I say. Behind me, Mr. Ray is still bang, bang, banging on the door. Grandma frowns. Save me from what? From Mr. Ray, I cry. He's a werewolf. The banging stops. There's dead silence. Then, ha, 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 Grandma lets Mr. Ray out of the shed. They're laughing so hard, they can barely stand. Mr. Ray says, you think I'm a werewolf? I frown. Well, you sure like the moon a lot. That makes them laugh even harder. Boys, said Grandma, Mr. Ray is teaching me to garden by the phases of the moon. Some people from my meeting think it really works. Oh, but why all that full moon stuff? I ask. Grandma blushes. Well, Mr. Ray and I made a date to go gardening under the full moon. Oh, I say again. A date? Wait, a date? Grandma smiles. That's why Larry went into a shed to get his gardening tools. So the beard isn't werewolf fur? I ask. Mr. Ray grins. Your grandma says she loves a nice full beard. She told me I look like a sea captain, sailing his ship by moonlight. Grandma blushes harder this time. Oh, I say, right, okay then, you guys have fun gardening. Um, good night. Stan and I can still hear them laughing as we head for my house. Inside, we hear someone else laughing. It's Angie. I glare at her. Why did you tell us Mr. Ray was a werewolf? She grins. Sorry, kiddo. After that movie, I just couldn't resist. Besides, he is kind of furry. I shrug. Yeah, well, that's true. Stan gives me a nudge. I think your grandma and Mr. Ray are kind of cute together. I look out the window. Mr. Ray is handing grandma a flower from his moon garden. I smile a little to myself. You know, they are kind of cute. Maybe Mr. Ray is okay after all. And hey, at least he's not a werewolf. The end.